Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at a generative AI renderer called Spacely AI. So if you were at uh, Basecamp 2024, you may have heard or even seen this uh, event we did, which was the 0-60 to 60 challenge where we invited uh, extension developers to come in and show us what they got. And one of the winners was this particular extension called Spacely AI. And we're going to take a look at it today. Uh, it is a generative AI tool where it goes through and does potential renderings for your uh, model. And the cool thing is, as it, it is super streamlined and takes some of the pain out of those generative tools. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So uh, this is the listing page, Extension Warehouse. You can see it is up here. Uh, it is available. You can just download, install it. Um, and we're going to take a look at look how this works. The cool thing about this is we, and there's other tools that do this very similar thing. But the nice thing about this is that the UI is set up so that it is so quick and easy to actually make any of these files. So let's, let's close here and take a look. So I have this. Uh, this is from a previous model. But... Uh, no, no, there's nothing to it. Like there's, there's, it's just model. There's no materials. There's nothing going on here. Um, so we're going to use Spacely to make this look, you know, hopefully realistic, like a real building. So I'm going to go into extensions. I'm going to click Spacely AI. And, you know, sometimes you go through these, these extensions and we got to walk through a bunch of presets, but the beauty of Spacely is how simple this is. So first thing, um, we have the ability to, you know, go in and change our view. And if we do, we can hit refresh and it's going to show. So I'm, I like the view that I have of it right now. Uh, choose our space type is interior exterior. This is an exterior. All right. Do I want to write my prompt or do I want to use a preset style? So I can turn on write prompt and then this works very much like those things you've seen before. I have an inclusion and exclusion prompt. Please include this. Do not include this. That's that's great. We know you've, we've seen that. We've done that. We've done videos on that sort of stuff before. But the thing this... What I see is amazing in Spacely is this preset style. So here, let's choose our building type. All right, um, is it a building, a home, a hospital, hotel, restaurant, or cafe? Uh, it's a building. Uh, your preferred style, okay. We can flip through a whole bunch here. Um, modern, minimal, contemporary. I got a whole bunch of different things, that unexpected stuff that I wouldn't even really think about. Mediterranean? Um, so yeah, so you can see there's there's so many options in here as far as what I would want to do. Um, let's do something. Uh, let's go with neoclassical. I don't have no idea. I have no idea what that's going to look like, but we'll try that. If I come down here, I also have the ability to choose a color palette. This is awesome. So I can come through here and say, okay, what kind of colors do I want to see on this thing? Um, ooh, I like, this is kind of nice. Red through blue to gray. Let's do that. And then let's just hit generate. And there we go. So the first thing that comes up here is I have, it, it did create four different versions. So you can see I have these little bubbles across the bottom. These are my four versions. And kind of a cool option right here, I have the ability to compare. So here's my, my original model that I fed into Spacely, and here's what it came up with. You can see it's using those colors. It's using the neoclassical architecture style. So I can actually see that. Now, I don't have a whole lot to compare to. My original model, there wasn't much to. So I don't really need to go back and swipe like this. So I can actually toggle that off. And it just shows me the design. So now I can actually come in here and click through the four images that it created and see if there's any that I really like. Ooh, that's nice. I think I like the first one best. So I'm going to click on the bubble to jump back to the first one. And from here, I can hit Save Image to download that image. Now, of course, the nice parts about generative AI is I can come in and make a change. Let's say this is supposed to actually be part of a hospital. And I want to go with a much more uh, modern look. And the red's nice, but we should probably, for a hospital, stick to a cleaner color palette. So let's try to find something that's maybe a little, a little brighter, maybe just like blues and whites kind of thing. 
So you know, let's go something like that and hit generate. And it's going to go through again, generate four new images uh, based on these presets. All right, same thing here. I'm going to, go ahead and turn this off and kind of just click through these couple of images. So you can see it does what you would expect. It generated a bunch of, of, of images based on the settings that I set up. But like I said, the nice thing about this is just how quick and easy it is to swap. OK, I like that, but let's I like everything about it, but not the style so much. Let's get a little crazy and go Mediterranean. Let's see what a Mediterranean hospital with a super bright color palette looks like. And I can generate. All right, and let's go ahead and turn this off again and then click through the bubbles. So you'd see immediately, look at the, it didn't change the geometry, of course, you know, to give those traditional arches or sloped roofs. It took it and it's surrounded by the geometry. It makes sense. Wow, granted, this, this messes with the scale a little bit, but it's an AI generated image. It's, it's kind of what I would expect. And then, of course, some things you don't expect. But you can see exactly what it does. It does quickly and easily generate uh, images based on what you have selected and allows you to quickly change those settings and run through different things, not by changing or fine tuning text, but by just flipping through presets and hitting generate. This, this, I think, is what I had envisioned more of. Uh, I really like this first one. I like that a lot. I think that turned out really cool. And that was kind of what I was expecting when I started into this. But uh, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. I mean, pretty easy. Absolutely simple to use and to go through and change those settings. And again, if you don't like what you're coming up with with the settings, you can always turn on prompt and go get your images that way. But yeah, easy to click, click save, download, save those images and get that generative render uh, in almost no time at all. So there you go. Uh, if you a lot of people have been into this generative AI image generation for a while now, and that's cool if, if that's you. If you haven't and you're looking for a simple way to dip your toe in, or if you have done it and you're tired of writing, writing lengthy prompts, um, check out Spacely AI. The way that they have the UI set up, it makes it very simple, very easy, very quick to go through and generate. And it's also very quick to repetitively generate output. Uh, because you have the same prompts, you can turn on the same prompts and you know generate again and again. Uh, sometimes getting generation or, or you know images that look similar can be hard. This makes it a lot easier because those settings can be repeated for different models. Um, so yeah, check it out. It is a great, super quick, easy to use extension and gets you great results with minimal hassle. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and we love to let you know about them. And we'll do that if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you tried Spacely? What do you think of it? Let me know what you think of this extension, or if you think there's other extensions that we should be showing on these videos. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.